grab a hot drink and turn up the volume. It's time for Morning Jolt with Sister Ignatia. Once a month, Kyle heads over to Forteza Coffee for a chat with coffee aficionado Sister Ignatia Henneberry from the Sisters of St. Francis of Perpetual Adoration. Wake up! Welcome to Morning Jolt with Sister Ignatia Henneberry. I'm Kyle Hyman, here with our delightful sister, and you brought another sister with you. Yes. Can you introduce our, our friend? I would love to. Uh, sister Maria Gemma is now in Fort Wayne, so living and studying at the university. What, are you, what will you be out. studying? So I'm starting a doctoral program in higher ed leadership through Indiana State, but I get to live on campus and experience college life while I'm there <laughs> also. All right, great. So, well, first of all, I guess, what are we drinking here? We're at Forteza it's Coffee. The I d- most important. I went against, uh, against the coffee grain. And no, oh, I didn't even meet the grain. That's, that works. Uh, chai. I got an iced <laughs> chai. That was, that was clever. Uh, There's still caffeine in it. I, mean, I don't think I've ever had an iced chai before. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. Okay. What'd you get? Uh, macchiato. macchiato. Very tiny. <laughs> Very tiny. Shot with a little milk. Uh-huh. It's nice. And I'm drinking Marie a Jim. cappuccino, and I love it because they make these little foam hearts on the top. It just makes me really happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So what yes. are we talking about today? Um, well, I think we we're picking up something that we touched on like a few episodes ago. And like, yeah. Yeah. That everyone is creative. Everyone is creative. The world needs everyone's creativity. And like everyone has like an image of the ray of God's beauty like through them that they need to bring to the world. Yeah. So when we think of creativity, I think we might have a particular artist in mind, like somebody that I paints so, yeah. or somebody that plays music. Mm-hmm. So maybe we could look at those things and say, well, well, I'm not creative because I don't do those artsy things. I'm right. not, I'm not artsy. Right. Yeah. I think I Are struggle you with that too. Uh, I don't, th- I don't think, so. well, you I don't play know. Guitar. I play guitar. So I, I, f- consider myself a jack of all trades and not in like the really wonderful sense that I'm like awesome at a ton of things but that I like can dabble in a lot of things okay which sometimes is like then you don't really apply yourself maybe to like something that you really should so here's my question because I I find myself in the same category do you dabble in a lot of things because of a short attention span and you just can't just sit down and just play guitar for eight hours straight or is it like is it is uh, it like a calling thing? Like I know, I think it's a little bit of both. I think it's actually, you know, long suffering. <laughs> I don't like long suffering. Long suffering. So I get to the point of like I can play guitar pretty decently, but then once it comes times like man, if I really want to get better, I need to be able to do a bar chord, or I need to, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. Then I peter out. Yeah. Sister Bree Gemma, <laughs> how about you? Yeah, I am not an artist. I do play guitar. Okay. Um, adequately. Okay. And yeah, I'm not. Is that a requirement for the order? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> must be able to. Must be a subpar guitar player. It's a good requirement. <laughs> we should have. That. Yeah. <laughs> so, in what ways do you think everybody is creative? Then, if somebody doesn't fall into the typical artist category, yeah. how are they called to be creative? Man, the Lord speaks, and He has a word to say. We talked about, like, yeah, distinguishing between solutions and problems. And we always like to look at problems, like, well, how are you to, like, be creative in this situation? Mm-hmm. Like, even dealing sometimes, with, like, with leadership and organization and, like, all these different ways, like, people need to be creative to, like, yeah, how can we bring the gospel to, like, this group of people or this individual person? Or how can I overcome something in my life? Yeah, are we listening to the Lord for that inspiration and, like, trusting him uh, for an answer? Mm -hmm. I guess. Um, Yeah. So I just, yeah, I think we do have like a very narrow vision of like what being creative is. I guess. Because I think maybe just taking an example of parenting, right? I I think sometimes we we can think of like the there is it's an A plus B equals C. So I have this problem. There is a solution. I just need to find it. There's one solution. I need to read the right book. (laughs) I need to talk to the right person. But it's not that easy. And in really it requires a creativity to figure out, okay, this is the situation. I have this kind of a kid who right. has this kind of a problem. Mm-hmm. I have to be creative in how I solve those problems. Exactly. But, but I think a lot of times we, we don't think that way. We just think 
Like, no, this is a mathematical yeah. thing. This, this is, it's a science, not an art. I like that but, analogy. It's but true. Totally. There's art in, in a lot more than we give credit for, maybe. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And it's also not on us. The Holy Spirit mm. is creativity. And so she God just is did a speaking Jesus to juke. us. Yeah. Jesus juked us. She, she would drop the mic if it wasn't going like, to make us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's alive and active in his people, and he, he is creative. Yeah. It was God who decided to part the Red Sea and let the Israelites pass through. It wasn't something Moses came up with. Or, right. You know, we don't have the capacity sometimes to even think beyond our surroundings mm-hmm. and what we see, but we need God's vision, and he gives us mm-hmm. that. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So how do we tap into our, our creativity mm-hmm. and or God's creativity? Mm-hmm. I think like spending active time listening to the Holy Spirit and like trusting what he's saying to you. Um, yeah, I think that's, for me, that's been like a powerful way to pray and definitely asking for a different vision because yeah, I get stuck into what I see, which isn't always correct. Or what do you mean in st- what you see? Uh, in maybe like the, the problem that I see in front oh, okay, of me yeah. or um, my inabilities we usually like size those up first, I think like, Uh, Oh yeah. Like even applying yourself to playing an instrument or something like that. Like, Oh, well this part is difficult for me. So I'm just going to like forget about it. It's like, well, like maybe something more is possible. Um, do you apply creativity to your prayer life? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, definitely. Especially even in, uh, ministry too. Cause similar to parenting, (laughs) like, the job is to be an instrument for this specific person and they need to be Jesus. So uh-huh. like, how am I going to do that? I starting off, I literally have no idea. I don't have the, I love this. I don't have the power to open anybody's heart to the gospel. So mm. it has to be, it has to be divine inspiration to be able to do that. So I guess prayer in that sense too. Don't you think it's the other way around though? Yeah. Not that we apply creativity to our prayer life, but our prayer life makes us creative hmm. because it gives us new life and lets us see things in new ways that we maybe are accustomed to being stale. We can become stagnant yeah. really easily, but prayer kind of revivifies us. Yeah. Revivifies us. <laughs> you yeah. like that word? Yeah. <laughs> New life, right? I like yeah. this. Yeah. Sister Maria Gemma. You'll this, keep her. You'll she's like a her. Nice, <laughs> nice addition. So let's look at maybe the workplace. Mm-hmm. Obviously, if you are in charge of doing graphic design, you're doing mm-hmm. some poster design for a company, very clearly, I got to be creative. Mm-hmm. What about the person that is a, a manual laborer, mm. right? I'm, I go to work and I just uh, pound nails into shingles. Mm-hmm. How am I to be creative mm-hmm. in this field? I think also part of creativity is order, like mm. br- bringing order yeah. into something that wasn't before and repairing, making something whole. Yeah. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, uh, we've had some work done on our house and never does everything go as planned. Oh, of course there's not. A whole, <laughs> you know, we, my son really likes the HGTV and watching all these oh, yeah. like, remodel shows. I don't, he loves, he's nine years old and he, like, he'd rather watch that than cartoons. But every commercial break starts with a, oh no. You know, like they, they bust through the wall yep. and then they find pipes back there that are leaky yeah. or whatever. Like, so it's, it's kind of constant problem solving, mm-hmm. I suppose. Even in the thing that seems like it's got that order to it, there's right. going to be a, a hiccup. Right. And you can either let it ruin your day or, or come up with a, a solution. Yeah. yeah. Creative solutions. There you go. Come on up with creative solutions to problems. I feel like that's constant in every job. I, yeah, totally. I, I, feel, I don't know who says this or where it comes from, but this whole idea that kids in like kindergarten, first grade if you ask them if they're an artist, they all consider themselves artists. Mm. But then eventually by eighth grade, nobody considers themselves an artist hardly, you know, maybe a couple. Yeah. Uh, so I wonder how that kind of, that development, it's, it's kind of like, I don't know if it's the school system. Mm. I don't know if it's a cultural thing that an artist doesn't make money. So mm. you, that's, that's not a, a legitimate career. Like you wouldn't say I'm a professional basketball player in the right. eighth grade. <laughs> Even if that is your aspirations, right. like there's just a r- realistic maybe notion that this isn't uh, a career. So how do we instill that, that people are artists, that people mm-hmm. are creative, that this is how God made you, that right. God is creative and he, you're made in his image right. to be creative. Yeah, therefore, 
you just are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, why do we? Yeah, why do we put a value on that? To be considered an artist, you need to fit this kind of caliber to make this amount of money. Right. Like, that's not an artist, either. So I think yeah, we become this like self-conscious to even going back to like listening to the Holy Spirit. Like yeah, we become self-conscious. So then we don't, aren't sure like oh, is this right? Are we following the right direction? I think in creativity, yeah, we become self-conscious because of yeah wounds and r- original sin. Like yeah, why not just do something that brings you joy? Yeah, and um, and encouraging that I yeah, guess encouraging yeah. that in each other and and recognizing the value. Yeah, in it. there's a good um, less than perfect. Yeah, to be an artist, you don't need to be perfect. Mm. You can be good. Like, yeah. Why is that not okay? <laughs> to be, yeah, I can be good at playing guitar. Why not? I don't have to be perfect at playing guitar. Yeah. I can still express creativity that way. Do you ever write songs? I have. I haven't recently done like a couple of poems. Yeah. About what? Uh, usually like in prayer. Yeah, something I'm like working through in prayer or something. And maybe it will like come first into like a few lines of a poem and then might be a theme for the next like week or something hmm. yeah do you call it a convent that you oh, live in we do do we you do, kyle yeah. okay i didn't know if that was just for like cloistered nuns oh, and no, convents no. Yeah. And, oh, no. and sisters convent. are are in a yeah. nun- nunnery no no yeah, not, that, that. not that not yeah. that do, do you do creative things as a a group of sisters yeah so we've done some things over the summer <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep trying to think of on the spot. Yeah, well, we, remember we, all those things that we did. We that played were music. We played music a couple times together, like praise and worship together. Yeah, and played music, singing, making singing, harmonies, making harmonies. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Yeah, we tried to teach some of the sisters some of the improv games that we've learned. Those are fun. oh yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, getting ready for that like, needs to be on stage. I feel like I think so. <laughs> think people would pay to see that. I don't know. Uh, the students would at least show up. <laughs> yeah, probably. probably. Over the summer, we have a lot of a lot of celebrations, and I feel like when we're all like working together, but also like the celebrations for the, maybe sisters preparing vows and you know preparing things for them and their families and taking care of even like hospitality and all those things. Like working together to do all that is, I think, definitely a creative endeavor. Yeah. Do you see it as a? integral to discernment as well like almost I'm kind of thinking of like brainstorming like mm. wh- what are we going to do next what is my next move what's my next uh, something I'm called to do and you're kind of brainstorming and involving God in this and, and trying to creatively think yeah yeah. I think um, if you're not creative or if you claim not to be creative uh, what you're essentially doing is closing off the Holy Spirit right Mm. so creativity definitely to let yourself see something that isn't part of your ordinary everyday routine um, to let yourself step outside of that that requires creativity and what results from creativity may not be something that the world says is useful like a religious vocation Um, Mm. Mm. But then to have the courage to step into that and to say, no, this is a different realm we're talking about here. It's not about what the world thinks is useful or beneficial. It's about what actually gives life and what actually brings harmony and order to the world. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. All right. Well, we are out of time, but thank you so much for yeah, inspiring you. me to be more creative. Thanks. And hopefully Likewise. everybody. Yeah. How's your coffee? Delicious. As always. Yeah. Yum. Thanks to Fortes of Coffee, and thank you, sisters, for joining us today. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Wake up!